Hello viewers, today I am going to demonstrate you a procedure which is called caudal epidural injection. Now this procedure can be uh, done under fluoroscopic or ultrasound uh, guided. So if you have a musculoskeletal consultant who can do this uh, under uh, ultrasound, um, that and then it can be done as an outpatient procedure. Today I am going to take you step by step as how to do it in theatre under fluoroscopy. So this procedure is uh, done with uh, patient in prone position. We are going to do it under local anesthetic, but you can do it also under sedation. Now patient is prone, we have put a pillow underneath it so that um, the buttock becomes more prominent and you have got good access when you are doing this procedure and also when you are taking uh, the imaging. So I am, I will be standing on this side. So my CR will be coming from the opposite side and my CR screen will be right in the front. And this is my trolley and I will show you what do we have in our trolley when we do this procedure. So for this particular procedure, we have got a mosquito just to localize our area of interest. This is some local anesthetic that we will give to make this procedure as pain free as possible. This is a 22 gauge spinal needle. This is an Omnipake dye to confirm our position. And this is 10 ml, um, which is a mixture of uh, 80 milligram of Depomedrone, which is 2 ml, and then we have uh, 8 ml of 2% uh, uh, lignocaine. So this is what you will need uh, for this particular procedure. So of course, uh, it goes without saying that this procedure has to be done under all aseptic or sterile precautions. So we have painted this area, we have draped this area, and I'm going to feel for the sacral cornua. And so this is um, the left side, and this is the right side. Uh, so when you have when you have gained enough experience, you should be able to feel this pretty much straight away. On a thin patient, it is very easy. On a patient who is slightly obese, then it can become quite difficult, and then you can use your C arm to localize that position. So I'm just going. I feel this is the cornua. So I'm just going to put my mosquito there, and then we will take a C arm shoot to confirm our position. So keep your artery at the level where you feel, or you believe that the cornua is and then take a lateral at this particular position and then I will show you how it will look on a Siam image. So if you look at this image, this is the prominent bit that you will feel that is the cornua and this is the sacral hiatus. So this is the area which we are going to uh, anesthetize. So the next step will be to put some local anesthetic so that the procedure becomes less painful or pain free. So once you have uh, localized your area, so just give some local anesthetic to make this procedure as pain-free as possible. And I will sub give some local anesthetic and I will wait for a few minutes and I will join you with the next step. So once you have uh, localized your area, your initial insertion will be at a 45 degree. So you just enter at a 45 degree and you check the position under the C-arm and if you are in the right spot, then you slowly lower it and then pass it into the canal. So if you look at it, my entry point is uh, pretty good. I am just on tip of the cornua. I have just made my needle slightly less than 45 and I will ask Prashant to show how I make it horizontal and I how I go into the canal. So my angle was 45. I'm just gradually dropping it. Now I know I'm in the right position and I will keep on making it horizontal. And this seems as if it is in the right spot. So let's look at the C arm. So you can see now we are in the right space. So we started like this at 45 and then we gradually became horizontal and then went inside. This looks, this is the space that we are talking about and the needle looks in perfect position. So I will show you how the needle looks when it is in the right space and then next step will be to inject Omnipake. So you can see we entered in this position and when we want to enter into the correct space, this becomes almost parallel to the body. So this is the correct position. So next step will be to take this out and inject some Omnipake and then check it under the C-arm to see if you are in the right space. So I'm just going to take some Omnipake and then I'm just going to inject just few, few milliliters 
and then we'll take a shoot. So now you can see our needle is parallel. This is the die. It's nicely flowing in the epidural space. You can see this is following the roots. So the next step will be to take an AP view and I will show you how it looks in an AP view. You can now clearly see on an AP view that this is in the right space. We have checked it on the lateral and this is um, going on each side. So I have not injected a lot of dye, otherwise you will see a typical Christmas uh, pattern view on an AP view. So next step will be just to inject our mixture of uh, Depomedron and so if you are in the right space it should flow freely. See I am not using a lot of force, just go slow and then it will flow freely. If it is not flowing freely, even if you are in the right space that means you are very close to the bone. So just withdraw it a bit and then keep on injecting it. So it should flow extremely freely and this is how you do it. And you can see that we did this procedure under local anesthetic and patient did not experience a much discomfort. So you can do it under sedation but if you are local anesthetic, if you, do want, if you want to do it under local anesthetic, you can do it without any problem. So this is the end of our procedure. So this is how you do a caudal epidural injection. So viewers, this was a demonstration on how to do a caudal epidural injection under fluoroscopy. If you follow the steps as shown in this video, you should be able to do this procedure with ease and I can guarantee you that you will get a good pain relief in your patients. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, please do subscribe and do share our channel. Thank you.